Andrea, I'm near one of the elevated ramps that connects business 77 to I-35, which is now off limits. This change is in preparation to the removal of those bridges. So if you have used that ramp to turn south in the past, you will have to use the previous exit for I-35 North. You'll still be able to use the ground level intersection to turn south. The elevated exit ramp number 337B on the northbound side of I-35 is also shut down now. Drivers will have to exit at 337A instead and use the ground intersection to turn left. TxDOT says the reconstruction of I-35 will be worth the wait. All of the overpasses, all of the entrance and exit ramps, as well as the frontage roads are being reconstructed. So it's going to be an extensive project. It's going to be a very good project because the ultimate goal is much more efficiency and much more safety. TxDOT doesn't expect the removal of the connectors for Business 77 to cause traffic backups because the elevated ramps are not heavily used. And now with the removal of those bridges, all the connectors from US 77 to I-35 will now be at ground level. Live in Waco, Stephanie Escobar, Central Texas News Now. Stephanie Escobar live. Thank you so much. Now, as far as the reconstruction of I-35 goes, the exit ramp for downtown Waco is now closed. The construction will have a price tag of $341 million, and it's expected to be completed in 2024. Another closure happening on I-35 in Waco this morning. The 11th and 12th Street Bridge over I-35 will also be closing permanently. The closure starts at 7 this morning. The closure will initially only affect cross traffic over the bridge. Main lane closures will be needed once bridge demolition starts. The crossing will be rebuilt with the interstate going over 11th and 12th Streets with enhanced pedestrian and bicycle access underneath I-35.